We're back to Parks, which in 2007 had detected a new type of source, a burst of radio waves coming at a particular set of frequencies from all over the sky, seemingly from the distant universe. So not associated with the Milky Way. These are bursts coming from the distant universe. And as astronomers, as we've established, are good at naming things, uh, we've called these the fast radio bursts. They're FRBs for short. Now, not all FRBs looked alike. There was a subset of these things um, that occurred at one particular frequency. And the team at Parks, who were suspicious of them, called them peritons. They suspected these would be man-made, but they couldn't quite work out why. Only Parks could see them. Other telescopes lacked the instrumentation, the expertise, the know-how, the chutzpah, the capability to see these exciting objects. And they were published in about 50 different papers over the years, until 2015. In 2015, a retired engineer saw some of these papers and said that he knew exactly what the source of these peritons was. There was, to be fair, a clue in the data. Um, this is the time of day at which those things were observed. And as you can see, these celestial sources from the distant universe favor lunchtime at the observatory. The engineer in question had worked on microwave ovens. And it turns out that the microwave ovens in the visitor center at Parks, which were more than 25 years old, were malfunctioning. In particular, your microwave oven, if you open the door before it goes ping, which I have been known to do, I am an impatient person, it's supposed to stop producing microwaves for all sorts of good reasons. These didn't. So every time somebody was impatient for their lunch, they created a signal which the telescope could detect. Uh, this had been happening for years. They now have some new microwaves. Peritons don't exist, but fast radio bursts do. And we don't know yet what they are. They're mysterious sources that sometimes repeat, but don't always, that mostly come from distant galaxies, but once didn't, that appear at different frequencies. And we're just at the beginning of working out what these objects are.